Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Wasted Youth Part 1. Let's see, speak English. Yeah. Computerception. Let's turn that down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do a new game. You about to start the first day of school and return at your new home, St. Frost Academy. Boarding school for slackers, troublemakers, and idiots. Perfect. You've been sent here after being expelled from your previous school. This place is considered to be your last chance by your parents. If you don't make it work here, then it's unlikely you'll make it work anywhere else. Maybe if you didn't play so many computer games. Make a success of your life. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Let's see, what shall our name be? Hmm. Don't give yourself a stupid name. It's good advice. Let's just go with kitten. Now, oh, there we go. Proceed. Okay, on a bus. Lots of fun. Wasted Youth Part 1! Okay, so we're obviously at a school of some sort. Everybody has black holes for eyes at this school. Welcome, children. I'm happy to say we have a new student joining us today. His name is Kitten. Please make him feel welcome. Don't want to repeat of what happened last term. Remember what happened to Thomas? Oh god, what happened to Thomas? When you fit set foot through the gate. It is life a living hell. Only lasted two days. Ooh. Look at him. Getting all intense. Getting ready to break out in a musical number. Take some drugs. Just reach for the pills, Mr. Teacher. Reach for the pills. Oh, littering. What are you doing, Mr. Teacher? Look, he's not even going to pick that back up. He's going to drop all his pills because he left the cap on the floor. Now he doesn't even know where he is. Clearly this faculty is amazing. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Go forth! Go forth and prosper. Oop, oop. I don't know. I really don't know. Mortal. Worthy of judgment. Yeah, whatever. You're a freak. And I thought that was a girl, but actually, I think it's a guy.
Nate, by the way, is a complete bastard. Played this game a little bit before. He's a douche. He's a doucher. Believe me. Oh yeah, I got it. Got that you're a douche. Yeah. Dickhead. All the other kids look up to him for some reason. Stay out of his way. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll mess him up a little bit. That's how I roll. This is Dave. You're gonna be my best friend, Dave. Tour. Oh, look, it's Mr. Bastard. He looks like a cool guy. Happening. Let me tell you how everything works. Blah, blah, blah. Missions. Gonna have missions. Mission giver. I don't really want to do this. I know how the, uh, what? Get out of my face. How this works. So, we're gonna just explore the school a little bit first. Let's talk to Eugene. I just love food. Now, look at this right here. This latent penis trophy. Get out of my way, fatty. Blatant penis trophy right here that Fatty keeps walking in front of. Look, look at that. How do you get a trophy like? How does a school get a trophy like that? Need some books. Mary McSugar Tits versus the giant octopus with ten tentacles. Don't think that's YouTube appropriate. Nothing. Kind of nice book to read. Snortle, the Retarded Pig. Popular series of books following the adventures of a pig with mental illness called Snortle. Snortle and friends have been around since the early 1930s, battling crime and helping others with various forms of mental illnesses. Despite its controversial subject matter, it is now seen as one of the 20th century's finest literary, piece literary pieces. In one of the most popular books, Snortle and Friends Eradicate the Nazis, there is a scene where Snortle lunges at Hitler's testicles. In the ensuing battle, Snortle manages to tear off Hitler's right testicle. Pleased with his trophy, Snortle swims back to his hometown of London to bury it in the Albert Hall. This is where the popular misconception of Hitler having only one ball originated. I wasn't aware of that. Look, we found a... Gerbil card. It's a ripster. Guinea pig was owned by the game designer and pooped a lot. Cuteness 8 of 10. Ferocity 6 of 10. Appetite 7 of 10. Special move. Machine gun bum. Great. Okay. Ladies. You can tell when someone's chav because they go out with bare arms and legs because the sun is shining even though it's freezing. Okay. Don't know what a chav is, actually. I have the urban dictionary that. Doesn't like pets. Okay. Pets are a status symbol. Kittens named Calvin Klein and Miss Dior. Poor little kittens. Ooh, let's have a beverage. Yeah. Make some juice. Drink it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna drink some Coke now. Yeah. I don't feel so well. I do not have any more of our drinks. Challenge accepted. Drink some more juice. Oh no. 
<laughs> wow. Metal get. Nice. Well, that's a uh, probably a good enough place to end that. Um, until next time. This has been Wasted Youth Part 1. Bye, bye,